Hello, hello, everybody. Adam here with another unit. Look at us. We are on unit 11. How wonderful. So let's do the warm up video. And this is why I'm very happy that we have the subtitles. So again, turn the subtitles on below. They'll be Korean. If they're not there, then do the automatic uh, subtitles. Okay, so we're going to watch the video. Okay, and check the things uh, you see in B and B is here. So read the list of words, look up any words you don't know. For example, bags, boots, hats, headphones, jeans, and sunglasses. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the video the whole way through, and then we'll come down here and answer the questions. Okay. And uh, thank you for watching that. I definitely don't think that adds to the English value of the class. So if you skipped it, great. Um, let's see, you know, what we did. We'll just quickly check this. Okay. So the answers are, these are the things, everything they saw in the video, bags, boots, hats, headphones, jeans, and sunglasses. So there you go there. All right. And bye bye video. I'll be honest. Um, you know, it's there. I wanted to show it, but it was kind of a little bit of a waste of time, kind of, wasn't it? So anyway, let's go in here. We're looking at some clothes. Okay. So say the words with your teacher. Well, that's me. All right. So let's go first. We'll start with hat, scarf, gloves jacket, pants, and down here we've got boots. Okay, over here we've got t-shirt, shorts, socks, and sneakers. Okay, so those are kind of your winter clothes and your summer clothes. Okay, now here, look at the words in the box. Look up any words you don't know. Well, we've got the subtitles here. I'll do the pronunciation. You check the words. Okay, so starting with the clothes, we can say blouse, Dress, heels, jeans, sandals, skirt, suit, tie, and uniform. Okay. 
And then the questions here we'll do later for the speaking activity in class. What do you wear at home? What do you wear at school? This kind of thing. Okay, so let's go over here. And as usual, we have a little listening to do. Uh, let's get this guy over here. So look at the word bank. What other words go with a pair of, right? So you've got a pair of heels. You could say a pair of pants, a pair of shoes. Anyway, we're going to listen for details. So M. Jackson is a scientist. The first, where does M. Jackson go? What does she study? And who sometimes goes with her? Let's listen and check those answers. M. Jackson is a scientist. She travels around the world. She studies ice. Sometimes she brings her students with her. The students take photos of the ice. They also write stories or make podcasts. The students get to learn about the ice and see it for themselves. M. Jackson sometimes goes down into ice caves. The caves are beautiful, but they are also cold. M. doesn't like to be cold, so she dresses warmly. Before she goes outside, she puts on two pairs of socks and a pair of boots. On her legs, she wears three pairs of pants. And she also has to wear four jackets. It's a lot of clothing, but she stays warm. M. Jackson's job isn't easy, but she likes it a lot. Great, so let's check those answers. First, where does M. Jackson go? Well, she goes to cold places. Next, what does she study? Ice. And who sometimes go with, goes with her? Students. Okay, so I hope you caught that. And let's check the same listening, but different questions. So here it says, listen again, match each activity to the people. Then in your notebook, write sentences about the people. Well, I don't know if you're going to write notes, but I hope you do. And let's do it. M. Jackson is a scientist. She travels around the world. She goes to cold places and studies ice. Sometimes she brings her students with her. The students take photos of the ice. They also write stories or make podcasts. The students get to learn about the ice and see it for themselves. M. Jackson sometimes goes down into ice caves. The caves are beautiful but they are also cold. M doesn't like to be cold, so she dresses warmly. Before she goes outside, she puts on two pairs of socks and a pair of boots. On her legs, she wears three pairs of pants. And she also has to wear four jackets. It's a lot of clothing, but she stays warm. M Jackson's job isn't easy, but she likes it a lot. Okay, and we'll check those answers. We'll give it one button. So M. Jackson, uh, she enjoys the work. Go down into ice caves. Uh, she travels around the world. And she, because um, I'm saying she, but she wears a lot of clothing. The students make podcasts and the students take photos. Okay, so again, just some notes you can make for that. Uh, if you want to listen again, of course you can. Uh, what clothing does M. Jackson wear? Let's uh, let's do this one. Two pairs of something. Okay, so this is the last listening. Let's check it out. M. Jackson is a scientist. She travels around the world. She goes to cold places and studies ice. Sometimes she brings her students with her. The students take photos of the ice. They also write stories or make podcasts. The students get to learn about the ice and see it for themselves. M. Jackson sometimes goes down into ice caves. The caves are beautiful, but they are also cold. M. doesn't like to be cold, so she dresses warmly. Before she goes outside, she puts on two pairs of socks and a pair of boots. 
On her legs, she wears three pairs of pants. And she also has to wear four jackets. It's a lot of clothing, but she stays warm. M. Jackson's job isn't easy, but she likes it a lot. All right, so let's check those answers. Two pairs of socks, a pair of boots, three pairs of pants, and four jackets. So you're getting lots of views with pairs of, a pair of, right? And three pairs of pants, okay? Now you might be asking, why do you say pairs of pants? I don't know, just because. That's what we say, um, yeah, for socks, boots, shoes, pants, jeans, we say pair of. And if it's one, it's a pair of. If it's, you know, multiple, it's three pairs of. Okay, so just wanted to point that out. All right, so let's keep going. Feels like we're going a little bit fast, but that's okay. Uh, this is the speaking activity. And what I like to do first is looking at the speaking strategy first, all right? So first, what they're focusing on here is saying what you want. I'm looking for, yeah, my sister, okay? Or if you're shopping, you could say, I'm looking for a new jacket or I'm looking for the newest iPhone, okay? So I'm looking for something, asking for and giving prices. How much are they, okay? Because they're, you know, if you're looking for here, two things or pants, we would say, how much are they? They're 60 euros. Okay, I'll think about it. Means, you know, I'm not sure. How much is the t-shirt? It's 19 euros. I'll take it just means I'll buy it. Okay, so for this one, these are shopping expressions. And they're not really useful for us in Korea. But if you do go to another country, of course, they're useful. So let me play the audio and we can have a listen to somebody different. Buongiorno. Um, hello. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Can I help you? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'm shopping for a gift for my sister. I see. Well, we have these nice silk scarves. They're very pretty. How much are they? 60 euros. 60 euros? Okay. I'll think about it. We also have t-shirts, like this Roma one. Oh, that's cool. How much is it? 19 euros. That's perfect. I'll take it. Okay, so there's the expressions. Again, much more useful, you know, if we we're living in another country. Um, but still, it, I hope you have a chance to use it one day when you're traveling. So here we go to our grammar, okay? So this is reference to, you know, we'll go check this out later. But first, have to and want to. The big difference here is have to is something that is very important. And, you know, I always say in class, you know, do you have to do your homework, okay? And I try to say you should want to do it because when people have to do it, you know, it's it's necessary. They they anyway, they don't really want to. So here she has, right, is just winter boots. It means like she has, like I have a blue shirt, or I have glasses, or I have headphones on. These are all, you know, just it exists, it's mine. I have something. Uh, what else do I have? I also have a phone. Okay, so these are all have now. The grammar, right, has to is something you must do, right? So she has to wear four jackets to go outside. So this is this is different. It looks the same, right? Because it's has, but again, I have a phone and then I have to do something. So I have to wear four jackets to go outside. And I really like that the book put these together right? Has, again, has a blue shirt, has to, means must, and then to go outside, 
Again, he wants a silk scarf. Okay. So this one is just, these two are actually quite similar, right? Because he wants a silk scarf. There's no verb. Just, I want that thing. I want money. I want mm, food. Okay. <laughs> but here we put the verb in and now it change changes. He wants to, now the verb is here, buy a gift for his sister. So it's a little different, okay? Because has and has to is very different, right? Again, I have a phone. It just means it's mine. Has to means you must. And then want is here. Like it, these two, like three and four are very similar, right? Like I want something or I want to verb something, okay? Like I want to study in Adam's class, for example. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, there's two we can do here. Um, let's do this one first. And basically read the sentences and answer the questions. Which two sentences have the same meaning? So it's, it's what I just mentioned before, okay? So which two sentences? Well, I want a new uniform and I want to buy a new uniform, okay? And again, I have a new uniform. I have to wear a new uniform. These are different meaning, okay? Next one, I have to wear a new uniform, okay? And all like this, you know, which sentences means something is necessary. Sorry, I didn't read that first. It means I have to wear a new uniform, okay? So the book is trying to show you like what the meaning is. So again, these are the same. I want a new uniform. I want to buy. It's the same. Down here, something is necessary or you must. I have to wear a new uniform, okay? So I hope that is clear, but we will do some more examples, okay? Now, pronunciation, I'm just going to play it um, because it's good to know. So the first one is, Work with a partner, then listen and repeat, then complete the sentences with want to or have to. Okay, so we'll just go here. And even though it's pronunciation, we're still focusing on the grammar. So let's do that one. In spoken English, want to can sound like wanna. Instead of hearing, I want to go, you might hear, I wanna go. Also, have to can sound like have to. Instead of hearing, I have to go, you might hear, I have to go. Now listen and repeat. One, I have to buy a new sweater. This one has a big hole in it. Two, I want to visit Jamaica on my summer vacation. Three. You have to dress up. You have to wear a long dress. Four. I have free time now. Do you want to do something? And I really like it because they spoke slowly and they sounded perfectly natural. The first one is... I have to, okay, not have to, I have to buy a new sweater. Number two, I wanna, I wanna visit Jamaica on my summer vacation. You have to dress up, you have to wear a long dress. And here, I have free time now, do you wanna do something? So again, this sounds like wanna, have to, have to, wanna, and have to. It looks like have to, but native speakers don't say it clearly. So it's good. I like that the book points this out because it does help your listening. Okay. And let's do one more grammar. And that's here. As always, pause the video so that you have a chance to, you know, slow down. And basically, it's just asking, complete the sentences with, right, with two. If it isn't needed, put an X. So I have a test tomorrow. What do you think? 
have or have to? Well, it's, I have a test tomorrow. I have to study tonight. Perfect example. Next one. Does Aya, that's a person, does Aya want a new jacket? Well, there's no verb, so X, right? Does Aya want a new jacket for her birthday? Diego doesn't wear a suit today. Well, he doesn't have to wear a suit today. Okay, it's, it's not necessary. Cleo wants mm, buy. Well, there's the verb. So it must be Cleo wants to buy a new dress for the party. I don't have money. Well, that's a noun. So just I don't have money uh, for the bus. Do you? Martin has mm, English class. X, right? Just has something at 9 a.m. He has to leave or has to leave home by eight. Do you want, well, there's C, there's the verb. So do you want to see a movie tonight? And I want to, because wear a jacket to the party. Do you have to wear a tie too? Okay. So there's the answers. As always, you can go back, try again, see if you get them correct. That is the beauty of YouTube videos. Okay. And this one, Maybe we'll do something in class, but that's it for the grammar. And as always, you know, go, you know, look back again, look at the rules, the difference between has and has to. It's quite useful. And that's the beauty of the video. All right. So yeah, that's it for today because the, the speaking part we're going to do in class. So thank you for watching the few people that do. Um, no one has left a comment yet, but it would be awesome if you did. You don't have to. Uh, see, you don't have to, but uh, it would be nice if you want to. So have a great day and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.